Well, you just got back from the first full rookie camp experience. Um, how would you sum it up uh, compared to what you experienced this summer? Similar or completely different? Um, it's similar and different, um, I guess. You're still, I think you're going there to develop and learn, but um, I guess the lessons are a little bit different in training camp and uh, development camps more kind of skill-wise and individual. And uh, when you go there, it's kind of more, it's about habits of being a pro. And um, I think I learned a little bit more about uh, uh, kind of all the little details of being a complete player. So um, yeah, it was different. And yeah, I think I learned a lot. When you step into the rookie games, I mean, the one thing that people talk about is putting that sweater on for the first time. The Canadians a big history, but when you went out there and took on the Senators, took on the Leafs, what was the feeling like to step out there? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I think when you put the jersey on and look down and you see it's a real jersey, it's, it's a pretty cool feeling. And then to play in a real game against uh, another NHL team, um, it's not real NHL players, but they're wearing the jersey too, so it's pretty cool. There's lots of people there, and yeah, it was awesome. I ended up going up against familiar faces as well with the Raiders. What was it like to be going against them instead of playing with them alongside them? Yeah, Staley and Kells were on Ottawa. Scotty didn't play when I played Toronto, but yeah, I thought Kells was going to give me a couple spears or something, but didn't get anything from him. But yeah, it was cool. A little uh, after you get a shot at Scotty? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, I don't know. He's He probably would have stopped me anyway. So. You were able to tuck one in, though. How did it feel to score the goal? <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was our, I think it was our first goal. We struggled putting the puck in the net, so. Wasn't a very nice goal. I think uh, it might have went in without me touching it, but I just had to make sure it was kind of a guy to break away, and the goalie got ran over, and puck was laying in the crease, so I put it in. So yeah, it was pretty cool. When you look back on the week, is there things that you thought you did well? You're happy with, and some things you want to improve upon? Yeah, I think I showed off my skill and uh, my hockey sense, and obviously those guys are pretty strong up there. So um, you're playing against men, and I think you always know that, but you don't really fully understand it till you get to experience it so I know what I need to work on this year and that's just getting stronger faster so um, yeah I think uh, I showed off my skill and hockey sense but I think getting stronger and that's going to go a long way so now getting yourself kind of familiar with the organization I'm sure there was a lot of it in development camp too but but was there a lot of off ice and, and kind of stuff to do with the culture of the city and, and the organization and that stuff um a little bit we were pretty busy with uh practices and games and stuff the one night we got to go uh to the bell center and we toured that and seen the dressing room and all facilities there and then we ate supper there so that was pretty pretty neat it's a pretty cool building and um it's actually unreal to see all the facilities they have at both the practice rink and the the bell center so it was, yeah it was awesome while you're in camp obviously everybody's in laval with, with the habs organization obviously the big news was the patch right trade. now do you guys know much of everything was there a buzz about that going on or you guys shelter enough with your own thing that you don't really know what's happening on the outside uh yeah i don't think anyone knew is kind of the older guys were around the rank there like we've seen them and got to talk to them and stuff but i think uh the coaches with all the rookies they were trying to kind of keep us away from that and kind of have our own little space there to do our job and kind of go to work so yeah no one really knew anything mm -hmm. so of the of the vets that were around who's someone that kind of left an impression that there was really open that you could talk to um i'd say andrew shaw is probably the best one he's a he's a really funny guy and he kind of makes uh makes all the young guys feel welcome even when i was there in the summer he was around and he'd be the first guy to come up and kind of say hey how's it going and joke around with you a bit so that was pretty cool I think you've talked about this with these guys before, but how much do you think this experience is going to help you out coming back with the Raiders this season? Yeah, it should be good. I think um, it's obviously a confidence booster to come back from there, but um, confidence can can go away fast. So I think I got to keep up the keep up the work and be consistent this year and kind of do the work off the ice and in practice to kind of keep keep uh, improving and help the team out. So, how's your French coming along? Not good. <laughs> Not good. No. It's a work in progress. Yeah. Not good at all. No. That, that wasn't a uh, part of the, the camp, right, guys? You're going to give some French lessons? When I was there in the summer, they tried, but it's pretty tough to learn. Uh, uh, no, it's not very good. <laughs> We're back here in, in Prince Albert. I mean, just lastly, uh, you know what kind of team you have here. A lot of guys returning from last year. Now that you can kind of turn the page from, from the NHL camp, how excited are you to get going here? Yeah, it's super exciting. I mean, last night when plane landed and getting back to PA I just thinking about it about how excited we all are for this year and uh, how we have such high expectations coming into this year and um, I think if we can all buy in and 
Um, be as close as we were last year at the end of the year, we're going to have a pretty good team here. So it's all about putting in the work now and kind of getting off to a hot start, and I think we're, we're ready for that. So.